Hello everyone, here is Mayuri Mari back with a new tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to see loop manipulation. So let's begin it. My dear friends, like other programming languages, Python also provides keywords to perform logical manipulation in behavior and execution of any loop. Python provides four keywords for this purpose. First one is break, second continue, third pass forth else. Now let's see one by one. Now the first one is the break. Keyword break immediately terminates the execution of any loop and takes control out of a loop. My dear friends, whenever the condition becomes true, whatever we have given the condition, if it becomes true and below it if we give a break, it will immediately terminate out of a loop. The break statement can be used in both while and for loop. As we here I have taken an example where one by one the letter is get assigned. If suppose when it will come towards H, when it will be assigned H, it will break, it will come out of a loop. That this condition becomes true and using the break keyword, the whatever the control will come out of a loop and the remaining condition will not get executed. Now the continue. My dear friends, the keyword continue takes the control back to the loop and perform next iteration by skipping the statement of current iteration from the occurrence of continue. That means when a particular condition gets true, it will continue back to a for loop for iterating the next condition, not the current condition. Here I have taken an example. Now here if condition becomes true, that is letter is equal equal to H, it will continue but will not print the current letter H. It will continue back towards the for loop. That means the control will go back to for loop towards the next iteration and whatever the remaining condition are there, whatever the remaining letters are there, it will get printed. Now the else. In Python, a loop statement may have an else clause. It is used when a loop terminates through of the list in for loop or when the condition result falls in while loop. That means, as we my dear friends, we did in conditional statement, we use else statement when it, the condition becomes false. Right? In the same way here, it is used for while loop. While for the for loop it is used, it is executed when the loop terminates through exhaustion of the list. Now the pass. My dear friends, the keyword pass is used when a statement is logically required but we do not want any code for executing it. That means the pass statement is a null operation. Nothing happens when it executes. The pass is also useful in places where your code will eventually go but has not been written yet. As in C and C++ we used a curly brasses, right? In the same way we use a pass. Now here I have an example where letter is equal equal to H. When this becomes true, when this condition becomes true, it will here I have used the keyword pass. This is a pass block. That means when the condition has become true, the pass block has executed and printed nothing. Means what exactly use of pass? As we did in C and C, we used empty brasses having no statement in the same way. Here the pass keyword works. Now my dear friends, let's have a practical session where you will clear your all the doubts. So let's have a watch on it. Thank you.